hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to see about refractive index and critical angle i have included the definitions formulas past paper questions and answers with my explanation let's start refractive index has four definitions which gives the same meaning and the main point is it has no SI unit. We are just finding some number that is how much the light bends or refracts when it travels from one medium to another medium. Let's see the first definition. Refractive index is a measure of how much light slows down when it goes into a new medium. Refractive index is defined as the ratio of velocity of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in a substance at same wavelength. The refractive index is a measure of how much light bends or refracts as it passes through a medium such as air, water, glass or any other transparent substance. Mathematically, it is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in the medium. So here are the three important formulas of refractive index. So N equal C divided by V. C is the speed of light in air or vacuum divided by speed of light in any medium. And another formula is N equal sine I. I is the angle of incidence and sine R. R is the angle of refraction. Here the key point is this angle of incidence must be always in the less dense medium. So while solving problems and some questions, you have to keep this in mind always. Angle of incidence must be in less dense medium. Then third refractive index formula is N equal 1 divided by sine C. C is the critical angle. So According to the values or data given, you have to select which formula to be used. So we will see in detail while solving some of the past paper questions. Critical angle. Critical angle is the angle of incidence in high dense medium in which the refracted ray in less dense medium will be 90 degree. Here the high dense medium is glass and this C angle, this is the angle of incidence in which the refracted ray is 90 degree to the less dense medium here that is air. Repeating, critical angle is the angle of incidence in high dense medium in which the refracted ray is 90 degree in less dense medium. This is the formula for critical angle C equals sine inverse 1 divided by N. N is the refractive index. This formula is derived from the refractive index formula. Then total internal reflection. When the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, then the total internal reflection takes place. Here, when the angle of incidence is more than this critical angle, no refraction takes place. All the rays will be totally internally reflected. Let's try some past paper questions. You can pause the video and try the answer by yourself. Then play the video and confirm your answer. The diagram shows a ray of light in air incident on a glass block. Some of the light is refracted and some of the light is reflected. Two angles P and Q are marked on the diagram. Which row gives the angle of incidence and shows whether the ray undergoes total internal reflection? So angle of incidence means it is the angle between the normal and the incident ray or the striking ray or the incoming ray. So this angle Q is the angle of incidence. 
so angle of incidence is q either c or d we have to choose total internal reflection easily from the diagram you can see some rays are refracted here and not totally internally reflected so here there is no total internal reflection so the answer is c the diagram shows a ray of light incident on the edge of a piece of glass the angle i is greater than the critical angle which arrow shows the direction of the ray after it leaves the edge of the glass so please do remember when the angle of incident is greater than the critical angle there will be total internal reflection so here is the incident ray and here you can see it is refracted here b it is refracted and c also partially refracted and only d is internally reflected so this is total internal reflection so the answer is d the diagram shows a ray of light inside a glass rod the critical angle for the light in the glass is 42 degree which row shows what happens to the light when it reaches to the surface of the glass rod the critical angle is 42 degree but in the diagram the angle of incidence is 40 degree that is less than the critical angle so when the angle of incidence is less than critical angle then there will be some rays reflecting and some rays refracting so both light rays will be reflecting as well as refracting when the angle of incidence is less than critical angle so the answer is d the diagram shows a ray of light traveling in a substance p the ray reaches a boundary with a substance q the total internal reflection occurs at the boundary which row contains correct statements about angle x and about the optical density of substance q here they have given total internal reflection takes place so the angle of incidence x will be more than or greater than critical angle and also this takes place in high dense medium so this substance q is less dense than substance p so the answer is c angle of incident is greater than critical angle and substance q is less dense than substance p the diagram shows a ray of light passing through a semi circular glass block into air which row gives the correct name for angle p and states how angle p compares with the critical angle so look at the diagram let's see which angle is p p is the incident ray along with the normal that is the angle between the incident ray and the normal so this is angle of incidence and here you can see some rays are refracted so there is no critical angle at critical angle this ray must be 90 degree to the surface and more than critical angle this ray must be totally internally reflected but that two things are not happening here just it is refracting so this angle of incidence will be less than or smaller than the critical angle so the answer is b the name of the angle p is angle of incidence and it is smaller than the critical angle the diagram shows light traveling from air into glass four angles v w x and y are shown which formula is used to calculate the refractive index n of the glass as you all know refractive index formula is 
n equal sin i divided by sin r. So sin i is the angle of incidence. What is angle of incidence means? It is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. So here i is w and the angle of refraction is the angle between the refracted ray and the normal. So angle of refraction is x. So sin w divided by sin x is the formula for this question. So the answer is D. The diagram shows light passing from air into glass. The glass has a refractive index of 1.5. What is the angle of refraction in the glass? As we all know, there are three formulas for refractive index. First, we must know to select which formula to be used. So here, refractive index given, that is N given, and from the diagram, we can take angle of incidence, so I. So among these three formulas, we have N and I. We are going to find R. So let's do the calculation. Here is the formula N equals sin I by sin R. We are going to find R. So just interchange. This one will go there and this one will come down as per mathematical things. Any method you can use like N divided by 1 cross multiplication this way, that way. I have done in a simple way. So sin R equal sin I divided by N sin R equal sin i is uh, i from the diagram 30 degree and divided by n from the question 1.5 we get sin r equal 0 0.33 and r equal the sign will go after equal sign so sign inverse 0 0.33 we get 19.26 that is 19 degree always keep on using bracket for safety purpose so the answer is a Light enters a glass block at an angle of incidence of 46 degree. The light refracts at an angle of refraction of 26 degree. What is the refractive index of the glass? So the formula to be used is N equal sin I divided by sin R. And substitute the values sin 46 divided by sin 26. We get N equal 1.64 that is C. The diagram shows a ray of monochromatic light passing through a semicircular glass block. What is the refractive index of the glass? So we are going to find the refractive index of the glass. So here from the diagram we know only 50 degree angle and uh, they haven't mentioned about that angle. For what purpose is that angle? So by looking at the diagram we know that here one ray is refracted and that is 90 degree and also that is on the surface and one ray is reflected. So we know that this angle is critical angle that is the angle between the incident ray and the normal is known as the angle of incidence. For this diagram the refracted ray is 90 degree on the surface so this angle of incidence is known as critical angle so total angle from here to here is 90 degree so 90 degree minus 50 degree we will get 40 degree that is the angle of incidence or critical angle so critical angle is 40 degree so we have only critical angle so we have to use the formula n equal 1 divided by sin c. Let's substitute the value of critical angle 40 degree here. That is 1 divided by sin 40 equal 1.55. So n equal 1.56. So the answer is d. So please be very familiar with these three refractive index formulas and select the correct formula to be used for the question. Thank you for watching. Wish you all the best. Thank you.